Ah, uh, welcome guys. And uh, just wanted to give you guys an update to see how we made it this weekend. And for the most part, we've made it pretty far. We we now got reloaded. We've got our running stuff. Okay. And jumping is jumping is set up so after you jump, you're you're going where you're going. There's no stopping it, no moving or nothing. It's it's quite uh like you know realistically how you would do. You've got slight little uh idle when you're sitting, so it's not so boring. And if you move side to side, it plays a small animation, very subtle. I think it's quite nice actually. I'm quite happy with it. Jump, you know, we need a jumping animation. That's that's pretty legit. We've got reloading in there. The muzzle flashes are being stupid. I had them fixed one time, but there's something to do with scaling and other things, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to uh, fix it up in a particle system. You know, use the mesh for a particle system. Now, bullet holes are not. By uh, object pooling yet those are to come but just not yet just the way it is right we've got aiming uh, very subtly it's a little off because of encode we're using the weapon transform instead of like the sight which we will probably be changing that that's one of the things I'm planning on changing encode because I'm also going to be making uh, different sites available and stuff. You know, I want an ACOG or something like that on there. Or a silencer. Maybe we want a silencer. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's how far we made it. And, you know, I know it ain't much of an update, but hey. You know, there was a huge refactor of how we do events and how we handle reloading and everything like that, which is way more uh, performant friendly. And then we'll, I, I plan on uh, fixing this, this mesh problem with our muzzle flash. A particle system or whatnot, and uh, doing some form of UI because we need to know how many bullets we have and stuff like that. That'll finish off the, the reloading logic itself because it's quite easy to do. And like I said, it's it's a little subtle move, which is nice. If we don't move at all. This. and we're using states now where it makes it a lot easier if we want to do something completely different like animation based when we're doing this or when we're here we do code base you know it's pretty pretty standardized stuff not hard you know like I said we're going to be working on level stuff and I fall off level again. Okay. Nope, I did. Sweet. But uh yeah, hopefully we've got some prettier level stuff pretty soon. You know, maybe some good uh good walls and stuff. This prototype stuff. It's just there for you know something to run around on. But uh yeah I'm I'm pretty happy with this so far. I know there's probably better ways of doing stuff, but, you know, what people say better is not always the best case. There's hundreds of ways of doing stuff. But one of the key things I think we really need right now is some, uh, some sighting stuff. We're going to do some sight, maybe a laser target or something. 
but uh yeah we're gonna need uh we we definitely need a crosshair some type of crosshair and for it to be adjustable for like this okay see the animation we use the side to side is pretty universal it's not even on the gun so you, we can use it for any gun which is quite nice and we can also change it based on the weapon too but yeah you could change the the jump height all you want I mean it's not nothing difficult but hopefully uh, you know if you guys like this video like it if you don't don't I, you know that's your opinion and uh, thanks for watching I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed the tutorial so far and uh, let you guys know I am on on stream doing this sometimes and uh, sometimes I play a little rim world too but uh yeah take her easy guys and uh appreciate your views and stuff but uh stay strong and keep coding